Hi, it's Jan from The Mountain. This week I go to my very, very favourite thrift store of the moment, which is just outside Lucca in Tuscany, Italy. I show you how I adjusted the sleeves on my thrifted jacket and I will also show you my thrifted haul that I got from my favourite thrift store at the end of this video if you can hang on. So, let's get started. This is my very, very favourite thrift store and I'd been def desperate to go thrifting because I hadn't been for a while. So I took a trip and saw my usual gorgeous array of glassware that I love here. I just get overwhelmed to be honest. Everything is laid out clean and tidy. It smells fresh and look at these gorgeous tiny, tiny um, shot glasses. I don't drink but I just love them all the same. I always like a champagne glass but the, the stems on these were a little bit thick for what I wanted. An array of glasses, you can see the old Coca-Cola glasses there and there was this very chunky Fernet Branca glass and there was an actual there was a set of new ones there still in each one was individually wrapped but I like vintage glasses these ones they feel funny in the hand because they're not very well balanced and I've seen those in other thrift stores this is what I love brassware look at this if you polish it hard enough a genie might come out but at 25 euros I'm just going to have to leave it here Lots of stovetop coffee makers or mockers, even a fondue set there. This store is amazing and it just has everything. I love this cute, it looks like a printed ware blue plate, but it's a bowl, but it wasn't signed, so it's probably generic. This gorgeous tea jar. I nearly actually gave in and bought this. It's signed and it was such a good price but I drink so much tea it was too small for what I needed. Now here I was looking for a decent leather bag. This is a clutch but it wasn't really the style I was after. I was very disappointed with the clothing. We had come hoping that the spring and summer clothes would be in but I guess it was a bit too early. As you can see from this weather, spring <laughs> has gone away. There's only one thing to do when the weather's like this, and that's inside things. And it's been hanging over me for a while, but I need to alter my um, thrifted jacket that I got when I went to see my mum. It only cost me £4, so it is slightly oversized, but the sleeves are so long I thought I'm gonna have to try and do something otherwise I just won't wear this jacket so it's beautiful it is made of silk and wool and the thing I like about the sleeves is that there is a split in them so I'm just gonna get my little sewing tin and see what I can do with this let's have a look my pins there. Oh yes, I knew I had a thread. That was the right colour. It's a kind of yellowy green, so it's perfect for my little job. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to pin the sleeves and I'm just going to fold them under and just see what they look like. I know the length will be right because I've just tried them before, just folded over once to where the hem is now. The problem with folding under is it's very thick where the split is. I just don't think that will look very good. So what I'm going to try is folding the other sleeve over. Just like this. It might even look more stylish if I can. It'll, it'll need to be pressed afterwards but I'm going to try one under and one over and see which I like the best. Oh, 
I have to get rid of my big thick iron jumper first. Okay, here we are. I actually like, I like the jacket. It's great with, I've got actually three or four layers on here. Um, I do like the folded back look better than the folded under look purely and simply because of the bulkiness where the fabric has that slit in it. Um, so I'm going to go with folding it back. I'm just going to put a couple of stitches in. I'm going to put one on the, the seam in the middle of the sleeve and I'm going to put a stitch in each end where the the cuff is actually where the edge of the cuff is just to hold it back I don't I want it to look as though it's folded back and not sewn into place here's my special method of threading the needle my needle is a little bit rough I couldn't find my packet of new needles so I found this old one but I think it will be fine okay let's get started first I'm gonna just catch the underside of the seam I need to just make sure it's going to be strong enough because the fabric is quite quite thick nearly done with this I always find I want to get things done quickly but I need to be more patient but do you ever find that do you find that you're just desperate to get the job finished and sometimes you don't do it as well as you would have liked to have done I'm just going to put a stitch in this side and when that's done I'll catch it on the other side of the, the sleeve as well. I have to, to admit I'm not the best seamstress, but I did learn to sew when I was at school. And it has been a very useful thing, a useful skill to have. done I'm just trying to finish off and just do some back loops just to make sure that it's all secure sleeve I have done the second sleeve in just the same way I did the middle stitch on the seam I'm just doing the end now and oh just finished okay found my thread. <laughs> Let's pop the needle in there for now. Keep everything safe. And I think it's ready to try on. Let's have a go. Dialed it with some cream coloured corduroy trousers and my silk thrifted blouse 
just for a spring look and as you can see the sleeves need pressing but it works really well so I'm very pleased with that look turn back cuffs um, actually I could get sew a button on so it looks a little bit like cufflinks which could be a, an idea so happy with that don't need to redo it just put my little my small sewing kit away for now it's my emergency sewing kit really back in my lovely old tin gorgeous well I bet you've been dying to see my haul from my favorite thrift store I got this little decanter what I liked is that it's got a ground glass stopper it's not plastic and it's very small it might have been used in a chemist's but I like rose cordial and I thought I could put my rose cordial in here and I could pour it into some nice little glasses to enjoy this was one of my favorite finds oh the decanter cost me 350 this is a blotter this was 350 again it's got some lots of layers of blotting paper and it's got beautifully carved sides and I don't know if you can see them there they're just catching the light absolutely delighted this and this is going to be a really nice addition to my writing desk I do like to write in ink pen another thing I got were some blue suede boots not blue suede shoes I needed some the weather turned cold as you could see before and I needed some to go with my dark blue corduroy trousers and these were perfect little bit of a heel the Marks and Spencer they're a good brand and um, they cost me four euros and so delighted with those next time I'm going to bring you a knitting update I've done quite a lot still haven't finished but you'll see next time also next time I have been thrifting online I have got a huge haul to show you of items I've thrifted over the last few weeks so in addition to my knitting update I'll bring you some spinning news and I will show you what I've been thrifting online recently so please please uh, come back uh, if you'd like to see that Thank you for watching my video. If you've liked it, please like the video with a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget that notification bell if you want to be the first to see my new videos. See you next time.